Right. So I had promised to show you the coolest tool in that Google has had to offer. So might as well. Th this show is about going down rabbit holes. So you can never expect what we're going to do. So I had started typing it, but then I didn't want to type it because because it's such a cool tool. So only if you made it to this episode, I'm going to treat you now. Studio.earth.google.com, right? Nope. Google Earth Studio. All right. Now watch this. Boom. Boom. Bam. Google Earth Studio. Try Google Earth Studio. Google Earth Studio. Now I could sign up or I could sign in. So hold on, ladies and gentlemen, just hold on. We're going to get this thing going because I already have an account, but you're not going to see me sign into the account. Not today, ladies and gentlemen. It's not happening and I'm not editing this video. So I just have to do things right. So this is live. This is this is this is live. Forget what everybody else says is live and it's edited. This is live. I take the video and I throw it up on YouTube. So it has to be less than 10 minutes and maybe it has to be entertaining. I don't know if it has to be entertaining. We're going to try to make it entertaining and entertaining and what I already have. Google Earth Studio. Hold on. I already have Google Earth Studio. What do you do? I have projects in here. Don't met we our viewers, our five subscribers. They need us, Google Earth Studio. What are you doing to me? That's right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So Google Earth Studio. So you may have to sign up. I signed up right around when it came out. I mean, it should be no problem to sign up. I may just sign up with my, my account on here. But either way, it loads into your desktop. And then what you can do. And then, I mean, it says exactly what you can do. An animation tool for Google Earth imagery. So we just did this video talking about the big fungus in Oregon. So we do fungus in Oregon. Is there a map? Now we can actually go with a map. I don't know if it's right. Oregon. Giant. The giant mushroom colony. Look at this. People have been about honey mushroom. So it's somewhere over there in Oregon. I mean, we're I'm not a scientist. So let's do a blank project. Let's just do a blank project. You know what? Humongous fungus in Oregon. I love that name. The humongous humong. Let me spell freaking humongous right. Humongous fungus. The humongous fungus in Oregon. That's the best name of anything that's ever existed ever. Look at this. We can make it sixty frames per second. We're not. We're not essing around over here. So we want to find where we want to be. Look at this. Let's make this full screen. All right. Let's uh, you move this down. So this thing is so cool. Look at that. So you hold control and then you right click and you move around. I may be able to. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come in here. Now we know where's Oregon. There's Oregon. So the fungus is around here. So we're going to set the the, the tree target as that right okay and we're going to oh look is that a mountain that is a mountain let we're gonna fly like neo in the matrix from the mountain to the fungus i don't know where the fungus is so we're gonna start right here If you hold down alt, so the main controls are shift, alt, and control. So you, you just do shift, and that's going to give you the ability to, to, to pan. So we're going to, so we can go down a little bit. And then if you do control, it, you can get lower, and you can pan. So we're going to fly by this mountain. We're like Neo in the Matrix. So this is, we're going to put the keyframes 
boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then time's on a pass and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to zoom over the landscape, right? We're going to zoom where, where's the, um, camera target. And we should be able to go actually to the location so we can make this somewhat accurate, right? And I just need to go to a new tab and put in humongous fungus in Oregon. And the humongous fungus in Oregon is a single, where is it? In the Mahur National Forest. Can I search for humongous fungus in Oregon? And be able to humongous fungus in Oregon. So can I just search? Well, we know the national forest. Boom, national forest. Let's make this a little bigger. So alt turn gets you over here. So we're going to put these keyframes. So that's why you want to put the keyframes down. Cause it's going to re remember where you were. And now what is it doing? What is it doing? Did it not save my other keyframes? Oh no. What's going on? Edit. What's going on? Add attributes, no camera target, done. How about that? We just want to go to that forest, right? So we'll go from the forest. We'll just zoom, zoom out. So everything that's yellow, I guess, needs to be blue, right? So everything that's yellow needs to be blue. Oh, and then it's turning around like that. I mean, that's kind of cool, but I kind of want it to come from space. So we're going to delete these end keywords. We're going to grab these keywords and move them over here. And then all the way at the beginning of the video, we're going to now zoom out like, like Neo in the matrix. Boom, boom, zoom, zoom. We're going to zoom out over here and we're just going to see if this works. Cause I, this may not be, Oh, we're flying now. So now we're flying and now here's, what's great about it. And this is a feature. If you see, if now that you're on my channel, if you want to go see other videos on my channel, I have a bunch of videos where I'm using GTA five as like a, a movie creator. I mean, it's nothing new. It's the, the rockstar editor. But if you go into my channel, and let's see search my name the one with the cartoon face and you go into the videos so here's some these are you know you'll know which one are the gta videos and i'm doing it to mess around i got gta for free during the epic sale when they gave it away for free in may and then i wanted to test it out on this laptop and I just recently started using the Rockstar editor to be able to, and what's great about it is, so depending, no matter what level your laptop's at, if you want to create videos, so this is what interests me about RTX. And let's see, I have 60 seconds just about to get this point across. But my point was that, so the RTX people were upset that, yeah, maybe you get ray tracing and there weren't many games, there were no games at first that had ray tracing capabilities. And then there's only been a few games that have started to adapt it and adapt part of parts of it. But it would give you when you had it on, it would give you a decrease in frame performance down to levels which make the game less playable or at least not co competitively playable. But for my use, I saw it, the game as a way to, you know, you could shoot short films. You can almost storyboard films or action sequences. I think that's one of the best uses games like GTA can be for, for, for people that are making action movies and want to storyboard an action sequence, GTA and any action game that you can, that has a similar kind of, maybe some have better ones. I don't know. You can let me know, but 
being able to render the video out. So now in Google Earth Studio, I can render this out and it's going to be at the right frame rate. It doesn't matter at what it needs to render at as long as it can do it. And once it's exported on YouTube, it's going to render that fast. So I'm gonna render this and we'll take a look at it in the next video.